Hey guys, in this lesson we'll be having a look at the Venetian carnival and its traditional costumes. I'm going to use Pinterest to look for some inspiration. Go there and type in Venetian carnival. Then create a board where you'll be saving the results you like the most. Later, we'll be using these references to develop different costumes. Guys, try to choose diverse images, not only with different colors, but also containing different shapes and details. This would be a good idea to save, to save references with different dresses, gowns, hats and masks. Save anything that you like and inspire you. It, be, it will be of great help. It's also important, guys, that you take the time you need when looking for references. The more images you see and save, the more options you'll have to use as a reference and to study different types of costumes. Why is it that important? Well, when doing the brainstorming session, we'll use all these references and combine different ideas to create a unique design. As you can see, these costumes are quite elaborate and have lots of details. Costumes are overdone and it's great because it let, lets us be creative and we can even use our own ideas by adding details that don't appear on the references. Venetian Carnival gives us a lot of, of options to develop our creativity. It could, it could be interesting to look for masks different from the traditional Venetian masks. It is, be original, introduce new ideas and unique touch. These masks are share similar characteristics. They, are, they have an inscrutable facial expression and other similar features such as narrow and oval shaped eyes and lips, maybe red or without color. They all have serious expression. Some of them are grotesque and have rude facial features. In general, they have very characteristic features. Well, another characteristic is that some of them do not have any decoration, they are completely smooth and even, while others are more elaborate, full of decorations around the eyes and the cheeks. So we need to pay special attention to these details and elements. Apart from the masks, another relevant element of this costume is the hat, as you can see in the pictures on the screen. All the decorations on the head are stunning and ostentatious, which is great, because it let our imagination fly. Some costumes represent specific concepts, like the sun or the moon, while others are just fantasy-like costumes where designers let their creativity fly and created amazing and unique costumes. This is the reason why Carnival of Venice is so special. Guys, save all the images you like in your board and as you can observe, I'm saving different costumes but of the same color range, which is ochre, and reddish tones. When the research process is over, go to your board and have a look at the images you saved. You can also download them so that you can use these references for the brainstorming we'll be doing in the following lesson. The reason why I chose these, uh, well, I chose images of similar colors is because I want to use this range for my illustration. However, you can use the colors you want, since there are million types of costumes. Well, guys, in the next lesson, we are going to use the references to have a brainstorming session 
and create different type of costumes and garments. So see you in the next video.